because I don't know how I presented. Well, how you presented was that you were uh, very short of breath. Mm -hmm. uh, that that kind of happened all of a sudden. Okay. Okay. Um, when you came in to the ER, you had a lot of fluid on your lungs. Um, and then there was the concern of whether you were having a heart attack. Okay. And so I came in and I did an angiogram and saw that the artery going to the front of the heart was, uh, had a segment in it that to me looked like it had been, uh, it probably tore some, sometime in the past. And then, it, yeah, that's right. Okay. And then kind of reformed itself to so that it wasn't completely a hundred percent blocked, but it was it was very unusual looking. Mm -hmm. And because of that, you probably did sustain damage to that part of the heart sometime in the past. Okay. I tried to put a wire down that to see if I could open it up, but I couldn't get the wire through that dissection area, mm -hmm. which is not uncommon. Mm -hmm. And so my opinion was that I didn't think this was a heart attack and that a heart attack happening right now, but rather something that had happened sometime in the past. Okay. And then for whatever reason, on the night of your presentation, something tipped you over the edge. I think it was too much sodium. And I think so too. Because I ate a crown. Yeah. Okay. And so, and, and sure enough, your heart enzyme levels did not go up like they do with a heart attack okay. after that. Uh, in the cath lab, I gave you a bunch more of a, of a fluid medicine through your IV to make you go pee. Laces. Yep. And once we gave you more of that, your, your, your numbers and how you looked turned, turned around dramatically. Hmm. Okay? But then subsequently, my opinion was that you needed to have bypass surgery done to, to get better flow to that area of the heart. Okay. And that's kind of uh, that's kind of where I left off.